In real life, a funeral is a sad occasion. But when it comes to dreams, a funeral can be a happy occasion. Let's look at what a funeral can mean in a dream. A funeral means that someone's life has come to an end. So in a dream, it represents the ending of something in particular in the life of the dreamer. It means something has ended, something has ceased to be. Could be the end of a relationship. It could be the end of a job or a career. So it could represent that something in the life of the dreamer is coming to an end or has come to an end, but this is not the only meaning of a funeral dream. So we're going to look at different scenarios that can take place in a dream concerning a funeral. So number one, you can have a dream that you're at the funeral of someone you know who already died in real life. And so this could simply represent that the dreamer is experiencing uh, regret. They may have had past issues with the deceased person in the dream as well as in real life and that they need to put to rest these issues um, that have been between themselves and the dreamer. If it's a family member, it could represent, be representative of family issues in the life of the dreamer. And so God is encouraging them that they need to uh, come to a resolve and put these issues to rest. Also, if you dream that someone you know in real life has already died and you, you're going to their funeral again in the dream, it could represent that you're just simply having a hard time letting that person go, that you miss that person and it's just really hard for you to let go of that person. Number two, you can have a dream where you're attending your own funeral. You ever had a dream like that? That you walk into the church or funeral home and there you are in the casket attending, you're at your own funeral. Well, this could represent that there are issues in the life of the dreamer that need to be put to rest, negative issues that God is encouraging the dreamer to put to rest. Issues like a depression or anger, unforgiveness, things that like that that need to die in the heart of the dreamer. Now, 99% of the time, if you dream you're at your own funeral, it is not literal. It does not mean that you will literally die, although that can absolutely happen. I think that's what happened with Abraham Lincoln. He dreamt that he saw himself lying in state. And so, but that's rare. Usually if you have a dream where you're at your own funeral, it's highly symbolic and just means that there are issues in your life that need to, to die, need to be put to rest. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any upcoming videos. And feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Hey, have you picked up your copy of The Mysterious Language of Dreams yet? In this book, I go more in depth about dreams and dream interpretation than I do on my YouTube videos. I talk about the depth dimension of dreams, dream layers. I talk about the time dimension of a dream. Also, dreams and the imagination, which is quite interesting. I also have put over 40 real life, actual dreams that people have dreamt in the book for you to practice your interpretation skills. Also in the back of the book is a dream dictionary with over 400 dream symbols. So I've left a link in the description box below where you can go and pick up your copy of the mysterious language of dreams today. Number three, you can have a dream that you're at someone's funeral who you know, but in real life, they're alive. And so this could 
have a couple of different meanings. It could mean that not the person in the dream, but someone else may die. Many people have had dreams uh, that say, for instance, their grandmother died, but in real life, a week or two weeks later, their father dies or someone else dies. So you can certainly have a dream like that where someone in the dream dies, but it doesn't represent, it's not literal. It represents that someone else may die. Also, um, in a dream like that, it could mean, indicate, indicate that that person needs to let go of negative issues. They need to die to self. They need to become more spiritually minded. God could be saying that and you need to pray for that particular person. It could be showing that the person is spiritually dead and they need to be born again. And so again, you would need to intercede on behalf of that person. It could be literal. People have had dreams where someone dies and that person literally dies. And so, uh, you would, if you have a dream like this, you're always going to pray just in case for that person and intercede and pray God's protection over the life of that person. Number four, you can have a dream where the dead person in the dream is actually talking or moving. You ever had a dream like that where you're at a funeral? All of a sudden, the person laying in the casket starts moving or starts talking. Well, this could represent that past negative issues concerning that person are trying to resurrect itself. And the dreamer won't let those issues die. The dreamer may have unforgiveness or resentment against that person who, who was dead in the dream. And so it could just represent that the dreamer is having a hard time letting go of those issues. In the book of Romans 6, 11, it says, likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. It also could represent that the uh, dreamer is missing the person very badly. If the person died in real life, uh, that they're missing the person and they're longing for that relationship that they had with the person. It could also represent that the person who is deceased but moving and talking has had a profound or very great impact on the life of the dreamer as well. So it just depends on what's going on in the dream, what's being said, what the deceased person is doing in the dream. Have you had any funeral dreams? If so, I want to hear about them. Leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to share this channel with your family, your friends, and all of your fellow dreamers. I'll talk to you next time.